Located on the f.ribbon under quantities is the f.takeoff manager application. When launched, the dialog box opens and this behaves like any other civil 3D palette. You can dock and use regular controls. f.takeoff manager is used to calculate quantities that have been placed in the drawing file with the appropriate X data attached. To use, open your quantity file that you want to run reports off of. Change to quantity reports tab. The default is the current drawing. You need to have an alignment present in the file either through a source file or data reference. Select a alignment either selecting it from the file or from the pull down. The default is the entire length of the alignment. You can pick graphically in the drawing file the start station and the end station or you can type them in. For a left and right offset you can designate a distance either side. Uh, the default is no limit. For output options you can include entity manager placed items, include non-alignment associated items, that is for legacy data that was placed in a previous release of the state kit. If you have drainage items in your file, you would toggle include drainage items. If you have XREF files loaded with pay item data attached, you would toggle include XREF files and output uppercase for the report. To run a report, click compute takeoff. The report viewer opens with a showing of each pay item number and the objects that contain within the pay item numbers are grouped with a running total underneath for that designated pay item. For a report type on the lower left you have a pull down to select between area, count, linear, and volume. Toggle between to view the objects that use that particular compute method. If it had multiple pages you could scroll between with the next page toggle. You can print, you can export as an Excel file which is a CSV file, a PDF, or a Word document. And you can also create your transport report. You also have an option under pay item filters if you would like to specifically specify a pay item range or a particular pay item number that you want to run a report off of. If your drawing is full of data, it would be an easy way to have a concise report. And you will need to go into the pay item filters to unselect to clear the selection to include all pay item numbers. To run a summary table, switch to the summary table tab and from here you would select your alignment. You would select your particular table that you want to run. You can select more than one. You will need to select your file output directory which will be in your calculations folder within your project. Toggle include non-alignment associated items. Include drainage items if you have those. Include XREF files output uppercase. You can also create a corresponding CSV file at this point. When options are selected, click Create Summary Tables. At this point, a notification comes up telling you it was created successfully. The file will open automatically in Excel and you have a report with station to station, side, an area ID of turf and at this point you would want to modify the Excel file. You want to delete the columns that are not used. They do not, they do not have data in them. So go ahead and delete all non-used columns so the report will fit in the sheet. And also delete some rows. And from this point, please refer to the table quick clip video for instructions on linking this Excel file to your drawing file.